I went up, felt like Superman, and then I went down and I felt like dog shit. And when you hear my story coming up, you're gonna realize I was so underprepared. This video is for entertainment purposes only. You could be someone out there that's on TRT and considering jumping on your first cycle, or you could be like me and just doing training for four or five years and then deciding to jump on and get as many gains as I could as quickly as I could. This channel is all about giving you the truth through my experiences and my knowledge of coaching guys through TRT, blasting gear, PCT, and making sure we enjoy ourselves on the cycle and not get any of those side effects. If you've got any questions for me, I've got a private secure email in the description box below. Reach out, ask me anything, and I'll reply with you within 24 hours. Getting gains on cycle is so easy. Any monkey can do it, but it's coming off cycle and staying healthy and retaining those gains that you built. So let's see what I did in my first cycle. It was back in 2010. I'd really maxed out my genetic potential, or so I thought. I was religiously training. I was doing a diet, which I thought at the time made sense. I was so committed, but I just wasn't getting the results that I thought I deserved. So I had a friend who was a bit pally with the gym owners and he introduced me. And then I ended up one way or another, jumping on Testoviron and Deca and they gave me some Nova as well. This ran me about 500 quid. Remember, this is back in 2013. And I had no idea what I was getting myself into. I was too scared to ask the guys that I got the gear off, what the hell do I do with this? Anyway, I figured it out. I started injecting, and around about the third or fourth week, boom, that is when the gains hit. The Decker kicked in, test kicked in. I was fired up. Every lift over the course of my cycle was just going up at rates that I couldn't even understand. I was coming in five kilos on the bar, next time five kilos on the bar. Over the whole cycle, I think I put around about 50 kilos on all my big lifts. So I experienced so much strength in the gym and outside the gym, the attention from all the girls was insane. Everyone wanted to feel my arms, know what I was getting up to in the gym. I was like a superstar. I loved every moment until it was time to come off. And that is when everything went downhill. And this is why I wanna share with you all my mistakes. I don't want this happening to you. I don't want you going up like a rocket and then just burning out and then just going lower and lower and lower. That's how I experienced my first cycle. So going back, these are the things, knowing what I know now, that I would change. I had bad organization, no clear schedule. I did not have a diet that was actually proven. I thought I knew what I was doing, but I have no clue in terms of the eating protocols, when to prepare my meal. My workouts were not written down. That is so basic. I had no clear system to fall on when my discipline let me down, which it did a lot. I would have enjoyed my cycle so much more if I'd got those priorities, set them in stone, and then live my life around them because I did not experience the results that I could have. Even though I got incredible results, my lifts and everything went great, I still put on a large amount of water weight. And that was mainly down to my poor eating habits because there were times where I felt tired and I could not be bothered to prepare my food. So it comes down to a lack of organization. We need to be organized, we need to have good habits, and then you can actually use the steroids to be a supplement to your training, your nutrition, and your sleep, and your recovery. It all goes full circle. We can't just add a load of gear in and then just expect it to be magic. It doesn't work like that. It's a lifestyle. You wanna be a better man overall, and you're supplementing the extra testosterone, the test of iron, or whatever you take, to make your life better on all fronts. I would have done less gear, less dosages, knowing what I know now. This held me back two or three years down the line because my dosage was so high at the start. I went for 500 milligrams and with the Decker added in, I was on too much gear. I did one mil a Decker on the Monday and one on the Thursday as well. Way too much. This should have been maybe three or four cycles in. Maximize that low dosage as much as you can. Get through your cycle and then reflect on what you did. So my first cycle, I would have dropped the dosage to 250 mg per week. And then in my second cycle, perhaps I would have upped the dosage to 375 of test. I would have locked down my diet, made sure my recovery was good, 
making sure that I'm on an actual progressive training program, not I'm just going in the gym and just swinging any weights around. This cycle, as I said, should have been three, four, five cycles in, the test and decker combo. Incidentally, I'm on test and decker at the minute, and after 13 years, I'm on a lot less of those compounds than I was in my first cycle. I should have done a cutting diet first because I started my cycle around about 16% body fat. I could have been down to about 10, 12, and then I just wouldn't have ballooned out. I also could not walk further than maybe one or two kilometers without my lower back hurting because I'd put on so much weight so quick. I would have spoke to my girlfriend so she knows when I'm pinning, she knows that I'm gonna share everything with her because that's what we have to do with our partners. And it's not a case of saying, babe, can I do gear and being one of these really wet men? No, you're asking for her support because you want to get jacked. Maybe you've got low test levels and you want to really fulfill your potential as a man and pack on some muscle and size. That's your dream. That's your goal. Ask yourself, if she had some kind of goal to look physically more attractive, feel better about herself, would you let her do it? If she had an operation, generally most girls do, they have a boob job, BBL or something, get their lips done, would you be the one to hold her back from her dreams? Well, no. The, ro the roles are reversed at that point. You wouldn't hold her back. So why should she hold you back? And that's what I didn't understand. I thought my girlfriend at the time, when I did my first cycle, would be looking to hold me back, looking to be, oh, this is dodgy, you shouldn't be doing it. It's completely natural if you share it with her. So honesty is the best policy. And then you can organize your schedule around it because your sex drive is gonna go through the roof. She needs to be aware of this. She needs to be working out more. She needs to be getting fitter, do stretching. She's gonna actually benefit from this because she's gonna see you accelerate with everything that you're doing, with your motivation, with your meal prep, with your training, with your recovery, with your discipline. You are going to become a better man and she's gonna see this, and it's gonna be obvious, okay? So it's important, if I did my first cycle again, I would share it with whoever I'm going out with, or my wife, or whoever's closest to me. It's gonna be obvious if you're getting those gains. Now, this was a huge mistake that I made, and it was to do with not hitting the like button. Hit that like button, brother. Give me a double bicep, hit that like button, and let's crack on with the video. It's important to experience one compound at a time. So run test as your first cycle, review it. Okay, what's my dosage? Okay, so 250 was good. Was I optimizing my diet, my nutrition? Yes, I was. Okay, now we bump it up to 375. Next cycle, you do the same, and maybe you add in something else. You add in another compound, depending on your goal. Obviously, if you want to bulk, you'd add DECA, EQ. You'd have the calories in place, make sure you're eating enough food. Or if you're doing a cutting cycle, maybe Anavar, Primo, something like that. So it's important to run one compound, get experience on that one compound, and then after your cycle, try and make everything better the next time. I didn't have a program that was holistic. I did no cardio, I did no stretching, I barely warmed up, I just went straight into it. I didn't progressively overload my lifts, I didn't understand about reps in reserve, I didn't deload, I didn't have any clue around the training side of things. All I did was went 100% every single session. This led to a lot of muscular imbalances and my physique was not aesthetic, I just looked like a refrigerator. Now from my last cycle, I have just focused on the delts. I've just put everything else down to maintenance dosage and I went hard and heavy on the delts and they've grown a lot. Back then, I was just all about size, but if you are looking for your first cycle, I do recommend you build that foundation of strength on those heavy lifts. Less isolation stuff, squat, deads, all the compound moves, whilst eating in a calorie surplus and on one compound. So we're looking to gain the weight slower because I did not, luckily, get stretch marks, but I gained 14 kilos in 14 weeks too fast. For me personally, I like to gain even slower because I prefer leaner gains. I don't want to put a ton of water weight on because it affects your feet, your back, your knees, your joints, your blood pressure, your heart, everything. 
you are risking your health. I would have had an aromatized inhibitor protocol. I was taking Nova, and that, funnily enough, knowing what I know now, actually increases the sensitivity of your progesterone receptors. So I should have stopped taking Nova immediately. So always have an AI in place from the get-go. My guys that I coach, especially if they're higher body fat, we always have an AI from the start because the higher your body fat, the more chances you're gonna maybe experience gyno. And I have a certain protocol that I use, I'll go over it in another video, but this was not even thought about by me back then. I didn't have a PCT protocol on cycle and I should have run HCG on my cycle to increase my testosterone production, my estrogen production, and overall keep my testicles working. Because I didn't know about this, I just didn't do it and I really, really struggled post-cycle. Running HCG on cycle is going to ensure your fertility in the long run. It also promotes neural steroid production. This is gonna lower your stress levels. I was so stressed after the cycle finished. I had a complete meltdown. I think I had depression, anxiety. I was so shut down. I came alive after about a two month period, but it didn't need to be like that. It could have been two weeks. I really struggled because I did not have my PCT protocol in place. My eating stopped. I couldn't sleep properly. I was shut down very hard. It led to me losing a ton of gains. I went completely bonkers. I started doing cycling. I had injuries all over me, my elbows, my shoulders, my knees, because I'd lifted too heavy too soon. And I actually went down close to 80 kilos. I lost 24 kilos, all because my mind was messed up. I had such low estrogen levels, I was getting emotional all the time, I was irritable, achy joints. I was just in a world of pain for two months after the cycle. So I went up, felt like Superman, and then I went down and I felt like dog shit. And I think it's all because I didn't have the right environment around me. The people around me, who were they? There was no one. The guys in the gym I was scared to speak to, they might have helped me if I reached out and actually showed them the kind of situation that I put myself in, but I was too scared to say anything. I didn't have the confidence. The lack of knowledge made me lose all my gains, but I did get experience. And I learned from my mistakes. I did reflect and I went into it and did another cycle again and that went a lot better. It takes time. We want to slowly build our physique, even on gear. It's not about just ramming as much gear in as you can. You can do that, but you're gonna suffer like I did. And really, do you want to be one of those guys that's doing a lot of gear, but doesn't really look like he's on gear? The goal is obvious, isn't it? Do a tiny amount of gear to not risk your health and get phenomenal results and have it as a lifestyle that your missus knows you're doing it and she sees it as a positive. So many people in the world are not jumping on gear because they're so worried about what other people think. Get your blood work done before cycle so you know how much test you should be going on to start off. You might be on TRT or you might be going from nothing. Once you know your test levels, that's what I normally do with my clients, we can then figure out the perfect dosage for you because we don't want to be doing too much gear. We don't want to be doing too little. There needs to be that sweet spot. And remember, when you're getting your test results done, they're going to vary depending on your lifestyle. So if you haven't optimized your natural test levels now, I'd suggest you go out and do it. Optimize your levels, get as much as you can naturally, if you are natural at the minute, and then jump on. I never even considered this before my cycle. I just thought, right, that bloke's massive, that bloke's massive, they're probably on gear, let's jump on. Guys, what's your experience with your first cycle, or maybe you're thinking about doing one? Put it in the comments box below, your dosage, your gains, how long you did it for, did you run PCT, what did you do? Really enjoyed the video today, guys. I must say, I never regret anything. So I don't regret my first cycle. My mindset is now, it all happens for a reason. Consider doing the research, reach out to me in my secure email if you've got any questions and I'll see you in that next video.